No. tortured us as kids and I just don't know how to just not be able to think about it. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so glad to be sitting here being in the presence of the Lord. I wish I had the two others that were by my side, but they don't see God how he wants us to see him. Loyal, caring, faithful, merciful, all the things you need to keep you going when things get tough. Forgiveness is another key part that will help you move closer to not only the ones that hurt you, but to God too. Father, thank you for allowing me to hear you. We each have our own destiny. And I choose the right one. Let them do the same. Surprise myself. How have you been? Mm. Really good. Mm. Really good. I've been spending a lot of time with Connor and uh, creating this new clothing mm. brand. Chloe is keeping me busy. Well, that's great. Well, what I want is to pick up a few pieces. Yeah, there this are is she. Would, look uh, would you hold a minute, please? I'm sorry, what did you say? Excuse me? What, uh, what? Oh my God, when did this happen? All right. I'll be down there to examine the body. Thank you. Your grandmother called. Your father died. So I don't care about that. I just thought maybe you... I don't. You can leave now. Hello, Tatum. You got a minute? Hey, Aunt Sylvia. No, I'm just on my way to work right now. What's up? No, I haven't talked to her lately. Wait, what? When? 
You know, I was on my way to work right now. I got some stuff I got to take care of first, but I'll swing by shortly. So what's up with Cassie? Have you talked to her? All right. I'll be by. Talk to you later. never imagined hearing what my aunt just told me. But I guess we all must go sometimes. But man, have a lot of sore wounds been resurfaced. Man, I remember when my mother took us here when we were younger. Of course, that's when she was in her right mind. But wow, look at how things have changed. I cannot believe it's still here. Man, there's a lot of painful memories here. I don't even know why I came here. You look great. <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Sylvia. How have you been? Honey, you know me. One day and one step at a time. I know. <laughs> How's work been? Work is fine, but I sure can't wait till I can retire. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> but it's good. How about you? Aunt Sylvia, I've been good. You know, just been busy, but I won't complain. Don't complain. I won't complain at all. But you know, wait a minute. So when are you going to come by and see my new house? <laughs> you know, I forgot all about that. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to come by and see it. Okay. And I might even bring you a housewarming present. You know, I would greatly appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Aunt Sylvia, even I drove by the old house. Why? I don't know. I just... I just got a lot of stuff to think about. You, you been smoking now? Um, <laughs> something like that, yeah. Either you are or you're not. Now, which one is it? I mean, it is. However, Aunt Sylvia, I got my own vices. That one ain't a good one. I know. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, but she's up there. You can hold up. <sighs> Let me go up here and check on her. Hey, Cass. What you heard, huh? Yeah. What happened to you this 
you know, I understand why you feel that way, but at the end of the day, all we can do is just move on. Cass, look. No, you look. You may want to act like none of this happened to us, but don't gas me. Because the fact of the matter is, it did. Okay, and I've moved on. What the hell you expect me to do? To sit here and just dwell in the past? What good is that going to do for me, huh? Our childhood. Were taken from us. Along with a few other things. Man, I don't even want to discuss that. Oh, you don't want to discuss that? No. Nigga, you brought it up. Oh, but you just came over here so you could throw a wet blanket on it and, and just make everything all right. Okay, and that's not what I said, though. Then what you saying? What is this? Pills? Alcohol? Is this how you coping? Cass, don't think I don't know. Wait a minute. When was the last time you even held down a job? <laughs> Okay, so it's been that long, huh? Well, I damn sure hope you don't think this is going to help ease the pain. Then what you suggesting, huh? Well, what I suggest is that you continue going to counseling and get your ass off the system and get your life back, Cass. Get my life? idea what I've been through. Do you hear what you're saying? I have no idea what you've been through. Cass, I was there, remember? Hell, we both were there. But at the end of the day, I moved on. And as adults, all we have to do is face it and deal with it. Deal with it? Yes, Cass, deal with it. Hell, I've even forgiven them. Oh, well, so kind of you. <laughs> you know what? I don't have time or the energy right now to put up with you, this attitude, and all that you're going through. I'm about to go check on Grandma and figure out these funeral arrangements. You gonna roll with me or what? Constantly yeah. <laughs> keep trying to make me do the things I don't wanna do. No, not me. What's going on? You tell me. I see what you've been up to now. Wait, what? It's nothing. You know, at first, I thought you was cheating on me. You would come home from work, take a shower, and mess with yourself with cologne. There were even times where I wanted to make love to you, and you didn't want to. But then I thought to myself, I mean, when does this man have the time? I mean, you come straight home from work. You done? Yeah, I'm done. I mean, damn, can't a man have a cigarette or two in peace? Why are you smoking? Nedra, just stop. Just let it go. I mean, damn, it's just my way of being able to cope. Cope? What is this about? Look, didn't I just say stop? I just told you I don't want to talk about it. I mean, damn, I just got a phone call at work today telling me he passed away. Oh my God. Hey, baby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm so sorry, baby. I did not mean to come down on you like that. Hmm. You know, most people would feel sad and just cry, but I just feel numb. You know, after all you've been through, I can imagine that. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, now you talk to your sister? Yeah, I went by to see her. The baby's like she don't even care. Mm. It's that bad, huh? It's that bad. But at least I got to see Grams and see how she's holding up. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, I'm here if you need me, okay? Thanks, babe. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Come in. 
Morning, Tatum. Good morning, Barry. What you got for me? Mr. Reynolds' case file. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I've been waiting on this. Looks good. Any changes need to be made? No. Perfect. Hey, sorry to hear about your dad. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks. You okay, man? Um, yeah, just some stuff triggered in my head for my past, but I'll be good. I'll be good. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, if you need to chat, I'm here. Yeah, uh, yeah, thanks, Barry. Um, I'll get this back to you. Okay. Um, but I appreciate it. Thanks, Barry. You're welcome. Careful out there. I'm grown enough to take care of myself. Thanks. Don't be slamming my damn door! So I'm gonna get my check or what? No. 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 I mean, you haven't been clean and you haven't been to see your counselor. <laughs> so what? So they can tell me all the things I'm doing wrong? I can handle myself. You can call it what you want, but if you don't get the help, you won't be getting any government assistance. It's some bullshit and you know it. You can call it what you want. <laughs> I can't believe this. I mean, look at you. You already look like you got some pimp taking care of you. I ain't got no pimp. I ain't got no is a double negative. What? <laughs> Cassie, let me put it to you like this. If you don't stop playing games with me, I'm going to close your case and you'll never see me again. Now get yourself together. <laughs> oh, so you want to have that attitude? Hi, Debbie. Can you please cancel check 1218 made out to Cassie Owens, please? Thank you so much. Have a good day. If it's left up to me, you would never get the check. That part. Now have a good day. So, it's 100 for the basic BJ, 200 for the all around, and 350 for the full circle. What's your pleasure? Damn, you don't waste no time, do you? I'm all about doing me. And what's that? Are you here to hear my life story, or do you want sex? A little bit of both, I guess. I mean, is there any harm in that? Look, man, I had a screwed up chocolate. A screw went off in both my parents' heads, and my brother and I haven't been the same in 18 years. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. Story of my life. So, this is how you cope? Yeah. Along with a few other things that make me happy. Let's see your clothes on.
Hey, Aunt Sylvia, what's up? Wait, 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 calm down, calm down. Wait, what? When? All right, where is she at? All right, I'm leaving work. I'm about to go check this out. All right, bye. Girlfriend, okay? Leave me alone. I mean, no, 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 no. What is going on? Is this another way for you to try to fix a problem? I mean, prostitution? Why can't you just leave me alone? Because I'm trying to show you another way out. You know, you sound just like that state counselor of mine. The bitch wouldn't give me my money, so I found another way to earn it. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, is this it? Let me, let me go. Just, just, give, me, give me this. Give me my money. No, get away. I'm not giving you anything. Give me my money. No. Get the hell away. You know what? Come with me. I ain't going nowhere with Come you. Come with me. Get, You're about to get, get your me. ass. Why can't you just leave me alone? Get, get off of me. You're not doing absolutely nothing. I'm about to put you in give this car. Give me my money and I'm let not me go. I'm not giving you nothing. Get your ass in Damn this it, car. Why can't you just leave me alone? You know what? If this is what you want to do, you're going to get in this car peacefully or I'll show you how you're going to get your ass in this car. Now get in this car. You're about to make me lose my religion out here. Really, T? Yes. Come on. Oh. Come on, here. Nedra left this in the car. Put this on before you get up in here, looking like a skank in front of this pastor. Can't believe it. Well, believe it. Well, hello right there. Right hello, Pastor. How, How are, are you? you? Let's go. Cassie? Hello. Well, it's been a minute since I've seen you. How are you? As well as to be expected, Pastor. What exactly does that mean? Tatum, why are we here? Look, why don't we have a seat? You better answer all of his questions or I'll break your neck. So, Cass. Yes. I was thinking we could meet some days this week. We can talk and I can help you get back on track. I don't know what my brother told you, but I'm fine. I have a few issues, but I can handle it. Well, according to your aunt and your brother, who loves you very much, I don't think you do. Well, wouldn't I know how I feel? Look, no disrespect, Pastor, but I don't need another man trying to jump down my throat. I got enough of that for my father. I understand. Look, Cass. Well, maybe we can... I, I said no! I, I'm, I'm sorry, Pastor. Just give it up to God. Just give it up to him. You know what? Let me tell you something. I'm going to say this and keep this real straight with you. Because right now my nerves are shot and I'm done. If you don't get your act together, Aunt Sylvia and I are going to be burying you real soon. You understand me? Now I'm done. Let's go. Yes, I've decided to cremate him, and I've decided to split the money between you and your sister. Oh, at least he owes you that much. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> How's Cass? <sighs> you don't want to know. That bad, huh? I mean, granted, she's been through a lot. 
I mean, hell, we've all been through a lot. I just learned how to manage mine a little bit different. You know, it hurts me so bad after what he did to you guys. If your aunt hadn't stepped in, I'd have done so myself. I hate to say this about my own child, but sometimes I wish he'd never been born. He was just like his father. Bad blood runs in that family. I know, Grams. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's not your fault you didn't know. I know, baby. But it hurts me to know that he brought children into this world and then hurt them. Yeah. And your poor mother, suffering from schizophrenia. Who would have imagined that? I sure would. Mama! Good. Thank you. Oh my God, Maquez. Do I know you? Maquez, I'm your brother. I'm leaving the two of you to talk, all right? I'll be in the kitchen. Man, have a seat. <sighs> How have you been? Why do you care? I haven't seen you since I was eight years old. I know, man. Look, it's been a long time, but look, I was going through a rough patch back then. Really? Really? Like I have it? Yeah, it happened to me too. So I guess none of our lives has never been the same. Look, Marquez, I'm sorry. You man, know, all I would... man, don't. Man, save your sorries. I don't need your sorries, and I don't need your pity. Look, I'm not trying to pity you. I just want you to know that I'm here for you. <laughs> you here for me? You here for me? Man, I can't hold down a decent relationship without messing it up. I work at a fish market, cleaning fish. I mean, Marquez, come on, you can go to college. College? And who gonna pay for that, you? Huh, you gonna pay for it? Man, I done finished high school. School was the last thing on my mind at the time. It was the last thing on my mind, man. You can't even imagine the places that I had to sleep just to get away from him. Oh, yeah, and the funeral service is in two days if you're interested in coming. Even if I had my way, if I had my way, I, I wouldn't even go, man. Quiet and have some respect. This is amazing. Look, Cassie, today is not the day. You're supposed to be here for Grandma anyway, especially being the fact that she couldn't even stay here and go through this. Now, why don't you act like a damn adult and have some respect? Anyway, he can't hurt any of us no more anyway. Hey, I'm glad he's dead. Marquez, please. Ladies, man, don't sit and act like everything is okay. You know what I No. Knock <laughs> out. Hey, a minute. You roll with me. You got an extra. Oh, 
cold. So this is how you cope. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, I know it's not good for me, though. <laughs> yeah, man. What is good for you these days? Well, you know what? I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> Man, Marquez, you know, we all got, we all feel the exact same way. But at the end of the day, forgiveness is key. Do you? Do I what? Now, did you forgive? Yeah, I did. Hell, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm quite there yet, man. <sighs> what you got to understand, though, is forgiveness is not for them. It's for you. Hell, do I gotta forgive myself for <laughs> Man, little bro, that's a conversation for another day. Let's get back inside for right now. Hey, Graham. What the hell is he doing here? Cass, don't start this. You know he's family. Please. We all know him. And you think that's my fault? Look, just because you have our so called father C, don't make you family. Cassie! You stop that right now. Marquez is family, regardless of how it is. Whatever. Look, I ain't asked to be here, and I didn't have a smooth life either. So cut me some slack. Thank you. It's gotta start something. So what? Is this supposed to be some kind of family reunion? Just asked you to stop. Now you notice the repass. Don't be stupid. I'm just saying. We got our so-called brother here who we don't know nothing about. Cassie, not today, please. So you think this is Marquez's fault? That our father cheated on our mother? And, and stop calling him that. That man was far from a damn father. Why you gotta be so damn negative? And why you gotta be so positive? Walking around here like everything's all good. Oh, we gotta forgive him. We gotta forgive him. Tell me this. You think he forgave himself for what he did to you? You know what? It's negative comments like that that prevent people from being able to move forward. Move forward to what? You can keep going to all this forgiving stuff, but you ain't fooling nobody. Tell me this. How many relationships have you lost? Cassie! No, Grams, I want to know. How many? How many psychiatrists have you seen, huh? What, what, they, they tell you to pray about it and everything's gonna be all right, huh? <laughs> Is that what happened? Lay off, Cass. No, no, you shut the hell up. You don't know me. In fact, we don't even like you. We don't care about you. Why don't you go back to your mom's house where you belong? The hell with you! The hell with you! Cassie, you stop that right this instant. I'm not going to have you ruining my day. So now I see why the state took your child away from you. Because you a horrible mother. <laughs> yeah. And that man, that man you was dealing with probably couldn't deal with you no more because you a freaking nutcase. The man I was dealing with. Yes. First of all, you know nothing. And I mean nothing about me and my son. The state didn't come and take my son, you bastard. I had the state come and take my son because I couldn't stand the thought of my child looking at my child knowing that he was fathered by my own father. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Tate. While he raped and molested both of us, I was the one that he got pregnant. So don't you sit there and judge me. We don't know nothing about me and my son. Some weight, huh? 
<laughs> yeah. I suppose you want one too, huh? You know what? Thanks. That was shocking to hear. Man, I knew our sister was messed up, but not like that. Damn. Man, don't get me wrong. Our dad messed us up really bad. Yeah, but Quez, come on, man. How much more are we going to have to take when we just going to keep living in the past and indulging in all that hurt and that pain? That'll never help us be able to move forward. You just seem to have all the answers, don't you? Nah, I don't. But I didn't turn to drugs. I didn't turn to prostitution. And I didn't become depressed. What I did do is I went down there to that church and I prayed. You prayed? Uh, yeah. Man, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Wait, what? You mean to tell me you don't pray? To who? To God. Who else? Man, gone with all that. Ain't no God in the sky. <laughs> you know what? We're all God's children. Some of us just choose to turn their back on them. But I ain't judging you. I really am not judging you. But all I know is that I do know that God exists. Because he helped me get through all my hurt and my pain. Is that right? Okay, then where in the hell was he when our dad was raping and torturing us? You know yeah, what? exactly, exactly. No answer. <laughs> I can tell you is that evil is around us all the time. Yeah, and ain't your supposedly God supposed to protect us? <laughs> yeah, wow. You know, we all are God's children. Is that right? You damn right. I'm educated and I'm successful. And granted, our father wasn't the best father, but what parent is? Man, don't come in with all that righteousness. Man, I haven't been the same since. I don't have a decent job. I'm uneducated. And it's all because of him. Nah, it's all because of you. You chose that quiz. See, we didn't have our mother to protect us. And on top of that, my mother slowly died from schizophrenia. And it was at that moment that I watched our father change. Man, Quez, what you don't understand is when I was little, I used to have to go hide in the closet after he would torture us. And I would get in that closet and I would just pray that somebody would come and help us. But nobody never came. So I had to build up the courage within myself to get the hell up out of that closet and go get the help that we needed. And when I went down there to that church and I told that pastor what was going on, he instantly removed me and Cassie up out of that house and took us over to Aunt Sylvia's. Well, I didn't have that luxury. <sighs> you know what? You didn't have that luxury because you didn't seek it. Hey, Graham, you okay? Yes. Oh, okay. Is Cass upstairs? She stepped out of the house. Oh, okay. Graham, you sure you okay? No. After having heard that, I'm not okay. Not right now, anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, Graham. Let me go lie down. Okay, go get you some rest. Can we talk for a moment, please? If you want to get into the details of what happened, I don't want to talk about that. In fact, let's just act like it never even happened. Actually, wait. That's not what I want. Cass, actually, I just want to apologize. Because I honestly didn't know. Just come have a seat. Let's talk. Cass, have you thought about seeing him? What? Hell no. I mean, Cass, he is your son. Yeah. 
And what am I supposed to tell him when I see him, huh? That his grandfather's his father too? I mean, you don't have to tell him all the details. At least not right now. You can at least wait till he's old enough to understand. Tate, no, okay? I gave him up and I want to keep it that way. But what if he searches for you and he finds you? What are you going to do then? T I don't know, okay? Okay, well that might be something that you want to think about. Look, I know you're trying to make me this mother of the year or something, but Tate, I, I just, I can't do this right now. I... I can't even think about looking a child, my child, in the face and telling them that my father raped me, that his grandfather molested me. I can't do it. What is that? Is this your way of coping now? I mean, I guess. Yeah, that's really gonna help. Okay, but it's better than what you've been out here doing. <laughs> Says who? Says you? To each his own. You know what? I'm gonna go outside so I can enjoy my black in peace. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Go ahead and enjoy your little stinky cigarette. You still here? The summer was that good, huh? But that's not the real reason why I'm hanging around here. What's on your mind? <sighs> hmm. Pastor, we found out yesterday after the wake that it was my father that got Cass pregnant. I mean, I know she's hurting, but I'm just trying to figure out a way to help her get through her pain. I understand. But what about your pain? My pain? What? You didn't think I smelled that cigarette smoke on you? Is that how you cope? How you I cope? mean, it's better than what Cass is doing. We judging vices now? All right. I guess I should be doing that, right? Absolutely. You know, God don't want you damaging your body. With all that black stuff and lungs, coughing and sneezing and all that. I mean, you sure paint an ugly picture, Pastor. Just trying to shed some light on it. So he can judge me? She opened up, tried to open up with some pills. What? 
Don't make a big deal out of it. Cassie, what are you talking about? What has gotten into you? Just leave it alone. You should have done the same. Suicide's a sin, girl. Cassie, what good is it going to do for you to take your life, huh? What is it that you're trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. I just... I just <laughs> Okay. Shh. It's okay. I'm here. Thanks for coming. Anything for you, sister. You go to the table? You break us. Yes, anything for Cassie. Everybody, bow your heads. Lord, we need you right now more than ever. Sister Cassie really needs our help. She's battling a lot right now. She's been through a lot and she needs us all. She needs a strong community behind her. She needs your support. She needs your... She needs abundance in her life. She needs closure. She needs to be able to move forward. And we we pray that you give her the strength and give us the strength to support her. Father God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Tatum, can I talk to you outside? What do you mean? I don't know. Sylvia, I got a call from the adoption agency. About what? About Cassie's son. What was bothering? I mean, apparently the little boy is like 12 or 13 years old. He wants to know who his real mother is. And on top of that, I found out that someone knows the adoptive parent. <laughs> Wait, you knew about this, didn't you? I said, what did you do? Look, what's on my arm? Don't you do that again. Look, we both agreed. And when I heard about what Howard had did to her, I knew somebody who was looking to adopt. But I wanted to do it the proper way. So I reached out to somebody who works for the company. Oh, God. Look, 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 I know it sounds harsh, but I had to do it. But Cassie doesn't want to see him. And he wants to see her. So how are you going to explain that? I don't know. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to go see him. What? No, you can't do that. I said, stop. Look, just stop. All this feuding and hiding and all this kind of stuff, it just got to stop. It makes absolutely no sense. I got to go smoke. Tatum! No. Yes, if you can get those reports to me as soon as possible, I would greatly appreciate that. All right. Well, I got to go. Somebody's knocking at my door. Thank you. Come in. Hello. Hello. Are you Tatum Owens? Yes, I'm Tatum Owens. Hi. Hi. I'm Paula. <laughs> Paula uh, Willis. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How, how are, you? are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm wonderful. Such a pleasure to meet you. You as well. And... This is my son, Rodney. Well, hello, Rodney. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. You know, um, I wasn't going to do this, but I had to think of her, too. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. 
you know, uh, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee, and I'm going to let you two talk. Okay, I appreciate that. I won't be long, okay? Thank you. So, young man, why don't you have a seat for me? Thank you. So, Rodney, I hear you have some questions. Yes, so, me and one of my cousins were playing one day, and we got into a fight. And he said that I wasn't a real cousin, that I came from another family. So I asked my mom about it. And did your mom tell you that you had another family? Well, Rodney, she's right. You did. Wait, so I have another mom? <laughs> yes, you do. So why did my real mom get me up to another family? You know, Rodney, it's a little complicated. And it may be a little difficult for you to understand right now, especially with the age that you are at right now. Really? Yes. You see, Rodney. You see, Rodney. Your mother is sick. And she has some problems. And when she gave you up for adoption, she gave you up for a good reason. But I'm sure in due time, She'll be more than happy to see you again. Wait, so you're my uncle? <laughs> yes, I'm your Uncle Tatum. You okay with that? <laughs> All right. That's good. Can I come in? Okay, so I take it you mad at me too. You damn right. Okay, I understand all of that, but all I wanted to do was just see my nephew. Your nephew or your brother? Okay, look, stop, okay? Just stop. Look, Tatum, you always putting your nose in something. Why don't you just let it be? Because I can't have a 13-year-old walking around here feeling like his mother doesn't love him. He has a new mother, okay? Okay, well apparently his cousins have told him something totally different. And he got curious. And guess what? I ain't had nothing to do with that. I bet you told him everything, didn't you? Of course not. Do you think I'm that stupid to divulge that much of information to that young man? Well, I don't think Cassie was going to agree with this. Okay, well all you need to do is let me worry about that, okay? Okay, go on up there. I hope you don't come back down here with a black eye. <sighs> It's me, Tate. Well, hey, what? what? <laughs> What's your problem? I'm looking for something, if you must know. What you want, Tate? Well, all right. Uh, you got a minute where we can talk for a second? Make it quick. All right. Well, it seems like you're in a very good mood today, so I'll just jump right to it. I saw your son today. Yep. I... What the hell were you thinking? What the hell were you thinking? Well, first off, don't put your hand in my face. You just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Well, wait a minute. First off, they searched for me. What? I said they searched for me. I told you, Cass, this young man was going to find out one day. Oh, really? And how's that? Well, apparently the adoption lady and the adoptive mother are old-time friends of Aunt Sylvia's. Yep. So one of the sister's sons got into an argument with Rodney. Rodney? Yeah. Your son's name is Rodney. And in the midst of the argument, the cousin tells Rodney that his adoptive mother, Paula, is not even his real mother. So Rodney wanted to know if it was true or not, and he went and he asked her. And she admitted that it was true, that she was not his real mother. So they started doing some research. And in the midst of this research, they found Aunt Sylvia, and then they found me. Aunt Sylvia knew this entire 
Well, I don't. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 where are you going? Kathy, wait. Kathy, what, what are you doing? Cass, what, what are you doing? What the hell it look like I'm doing? Cass, don't do this. Don't do what? Run from your problems. <laughs> right now, my problems, Tate, are you and Aunt Sylvia. Oh, so you about to blame all of this on me and Aunt Sylvia? Is that it? Is that it? You know what? I am tired, okay? I am tired of all of it. <laughs> you know what, Cass? You don't think I hurt too? You got two brothers, two, that experienced the exact same thing. No, we didn't bear a child, but we did have to deal with having our manhood being taken away from us. And that is something that you can't and you won't ever understand. Cass, listen, there were plenty, and I do mean plenty of times, when I wanted to take my own life. But all I could do was just go hide in that closet and pray that God would come and help me. It was just a matter of when and how. I wish you'd just let me die here in my room. Cass, stop. Don't do that. No, <laughs> let's not do this. Talking about taking your life is not going to help ease the pain. It's not. Come on. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Got you. You sure I look okay? Cassie, you look fine. Now come over here and sit down. <laughs> what if I don't get this job? Cassie, you're gonna be fine. Plus, you've done this type of work before. And I know the guy. He's giving you a second chance. Guess you're not messing up then, huh? Uh, you better not. <laughs> Cassie Owens? Yes, that's me. Uh, yep. Knock him dead, sis. You got this. Thanks. You're welcome. I know I don't come to you as often as I possibly should. But right now, I need you. Cassie needs you. Lord, I just want you to touch her. Just so that she can just make this happen for herself, Lord. She needs this. Our family needs this. She just needs to be delivered from her pain and all of her hurt. And I know getting this job is going to help her do just that. Our family needs this. And we trust and we believe in you, so we know you'll make it happen. Oh my God. I cannot believe I got the job. I told you you could do it. I knew you had it. Yeah. You know, for the first time in life, I feel really good. You know, it does my heart joy just to see you smile like this. Yeah. You know, Daddy really messed me up. I'm so messed up, I lost myself. And if it hadn't been for you... Look, I'm proud of you. You know, I'm really proud of you. I knew you could do it. It's just like, 
What's next? You know? Cassie, I think you know what that is. <laughs> One day at a time, Tate. <laughs> One day at a time. Besides, I don't know if I'm really- Look, Yes. Yes, you are. You just gotta be strong and let God take the wheel. <laughs> Who would have thought? My little brother giving me advice. It's all good. You know I got your back. Mm -hmm. You know we gotta tell Grams my good news. I know she'll love to hear this. You know what? She sure would. So let's go. Let's go tell her. Grams, you are not gonna believe this. Your granddaughter got herself a job. Isn't that great? <laughs> yes, Grams, we need to celebrate. Yes. That's, that's wonderful, darling. Grams, what's wrong? He called me the other day and he said he got fired from his job. What? Well, he said some man touched him in a way that he didn't want to be touched. And he took a pipe and he beat that man. And so his boss fired him. He, he said the man was going to press charges but he didn't want to risk going to jail and something happening to him. And so oh, <laughs> he said he was going to overdose on some pills. Oh, Grams, come oh. on. No. He didn't, thank God. He said he decided to turn himself in. That letter, he wrote that letter to me and he stuck it in my mailbox the day after the incident. Oh, Jesus. Grams, where is he at right now? Please, that's a hard laugh. Answer, answer, answer. Come on. Yeah, there's my place. Oh, I need your help. I'm at, I'm at the county jail. I know, I know, I know. Just send somebody at me. Thank you too, bro. I mess you done got yourself into, huh? Marquez, why couldn't you just let it go? Because I felt disrespected. And it felt good to finally put my head on somebody that touched me. Marquez, beating the hell out of somebody that hurt you is not going to change your past. You need to learn how to control your impulses. Especially if you want a better future. Better future? No damn future. Have you looked at me lately? Have you looked at me? I'm uneducated. I live with my damn grandmother. I can't find a job. What future you talking about? <laughs> you know what? I have looked at you, but have you looked at you? You know what? Luckily, I talked to the guy that you beat the hell out of and explained everything to him, and he's willing to drop the charges on your dumb ass. I was on free. No, I didn't say that. What I said was, he's willing to drop the charges on your dumb ass. And on top of that, if he decides to do that, they got to clear the paperwork. So until then, I'm going outside. I need a smoke. Hey, get my clothes. Hey, yo, Quez, over here. Ever to come up out of there. Shit, man. Hey, you got another one? Man, I'm about to start charging you. You know these cigarettes are expensive. Man, when I get a job, I can pay you back. And when is that gonna be? Man, I don't know, man. Soon. Man, hurry up like this, because you know I don't smoke in my car. Got it? Yeah. Look, bro, my car parked around the corner over there. Just head on out. Let's get on out of here. Yeah. 
So why you bring me to a church? Is this your way of saying I need help or something? You know, you don't need for me to tell you that. But you know what? You and Cassie remind me of those individuals that always claiming I love the Lord and he heard my cry. But will run out here and spend thousands of dollars on psychiatrists for depression. When all you need to do is come here to Jesus. And guess what? He's free. So this is what I think. All those individuals making money off of people like you and Cassie. They need to bring all of that money back here to the church house like I brought you here. Oh, so it's, it's just that easy. <laughs> that's, how easy that's how easy it is. You know what, little bro? To be honest with you, it is that easy. But what you need to do is continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm still holding. They said I wouldn't make it They said I wouldn't be here today They said I never amount to anything But I'm glad to say That I'm on my way And I'm growing more and more and more each day There were many That started out with me But now They've gone astray But I'm still protecting you. Before mama died, she told me, Cass, take care of your brother. Listen, Cass, we were young and there was absolutely nothing that you could have done to protect me. But, I mean, I just wish... Cass, stop. Stop. Please don't beat yourself up over that. 
You're in a good place now, right? Right. Okay, so don't beat yourself up about it. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I heard Marquez got saved. Well, yeah, he hasn't been baptized yet. He'll do that in a few weeks. But the good thing is he has turned himself over to Christ. Mm, that's good for him. It really is. Mm. And what about you? Well, <laughs> I do believe that people can change. Mm -hmm. God knows I need to, so. Yeah. Okay. Hell, that's probably what all three of us need to get ourselves into some church. A little church. Mm -hmm. Well, into some. Hey, I'm ready. I'm down. I'm down too. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What? What's that look for? I guess I'm also down for meeting him. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't want him to know everything, of course. Not until he's old enough, but... Okay. I mean, sounds like a plan to me. I'm game. I'm sure you are too. Yeah. You ready to do it? <laughs> as ready as I'm gonna be. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> well, since you ain't got no lemonade, I'll just drink by myself. Mm, yeah. Lemonade only. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> Well, we're here. You ready? I'm so nervous. I know, but you got this. Let's go. How are you? I'm well. Thank you so very much for having us. And um, this is my sister Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Nice to meet you. Same here. Rodney, come home. Cassie, this is my son, Rodney. Hello. Hello. I've always said there was only one way, and it's God's way. You give him the power, and he'll change your life. You give your life to him, 
and he'll make you whole. You know, sometimes evil people, evil forces, or anything bad will try to destroy us. But you know, God feels our pain and he takes care of all the evil people that try to hurt his children. <laughs> you can best believe that through all the storms and tribulations that you go through, God will see you through those trials and tribulations and will turn those into treasures. All you need to do is just be sure and to trust God and never, ever, ever trust man. But you see, to each his own. And in the end, God is the only way to go. Making me smile 